Welcome to your 30 minute hot, hot hit for toned arms and a sexy, stronger upper body. In today's routine, I'm gonna help you get slim, toned up arms at home with a combination of cardio strength and body weight only exercises. For equipment today, all you'll be needing is your light and medium set of dumbbells. And if you don't have any weights at home, just grab two filled water bottles and that'll do the trick. Now smash that thumbs up button for me so I know you're here. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't already. And you're gonna wanna make it to the end of this workout because I will be announcing what our next month's free workout calendar is gonna be and how you can access it to stay fit and active at home all the way through July. All right, fam, I really hope you're ready for a burn. Let's get started. All right, everybody, we have got a beautiful upper body burn to do today. Now, as far as our format goes, we've got 45 second exercises with a 15 second rest between, and I've broken our workout down into nine sections. So we're gonna start off with three minutes of body weight only exercise, then we move into three minutes of weighted exercises, and then we've got three minutes of full body fat burn cardio, essentially targeting the upper body, and we are gonna repeat those three rounds three times over, all different exercises, no repeat workout, a three minute finisher, and we're done. So we're gonna start off with the triceps, that's the back of the arms here. I want you to come onto your mat for me. We're gonna dig those heels in in front. Hands are right below the shoulder. I think you know where I'm going with this. We're coming into our tricep dips in three, in two, in one. I'm gonna lift those hips up nice and high. Now just hold right here. We're gonna start off a little bit slower. And as the workout goes on, it is gonna pick up the pace. We come down for five, four, three, two, one, now lift again, five, four, three, two, one again, five, four, bending through the elbows, two, one, now hold it low, booty right above the mat, pulse for 10, nine, slow to start, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now lift up last time for five, four, three, two, one, now lift yourself back up. Beginners, you can come on down. My intermediate advance, I want you to hold up in this position. Those hips stay nice and high, rib cage down. We're gonna tap the opposite hand to the opposite shoulder, going in five, four. If you came down, come up in two, in one. We tap the left over to the right. We tap the right over to the left. It's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Trying to keep the upper body from swaying too much. Really press through those palms. We're gonna speed it up a little bit. And it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now left arm raises up towards the ceiling and lowers. Right arm raises up towards the ceiling and lowers. For eight, for seven, and lower. For six, for five, waking up those arms. Four, by the end of this one, it's gonna burn. Three, last two, last one. Hold it here if you are in an intermediate position or advanced beginners, you can come on down. I will tell you when to come up. We're going back into our tricep dips, this time speeding up the pace. It's one, two, one, two, in two, in one, let's go. It's down, up, down, up for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Now lower all the way down without touching the mat. Pulse, 10, nine, eight, keep it low. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift it up, hold in three, in two, in one. Last time, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Bending through the elbows, three, two, one, hold low for four, hold low for three, for two, one, and lower it down. You should be feeling awake in those arms. Did you feel that? Did you? Because I know I did. All right, we're gonna grab a hold of our medium weights. If you'd like to come into standing for this one, you can. I will be down here on the mat because I think it's a little bit easier to see me. We hinge forward at the hips, palms are facing in. We're slowing things back down, squeezing the elbows in towards the waist. We kick back, bring it back in and lower. It's one, two, three, four. Now slower doesn't always mean easier because we are keeping that tension on our muscles. So every time you come up, you're squeezing the back of the arms and squeezing the shoulder blades together. The shoulders are down and they're squeezed. In, kick, in, down. 10, nine, eight, seven, stay strong. Six, five, four, Three, two, one, 
two on one, hold it high. Pulse up for three, two, one, and lower it down. Now using either one of those weights or both of those weights, we're gonna go into our tricep dips and pulses so that weight comes behind. We're holding the head of the dumbbell. We squeeze the elbows in towards each other. Really important there. We come down, pulse, and lift. Let's go. Down, pulse, lift, and squeeze the back of the arms. Facing straight ahead. Rib cage down. Shoulders are still down. We're not hunching them up. Squeezing those abs in tight. Back nice and straight. You've got this. We're gonna get through this whole thing together. And we are already almost through our second round. So these rounds do go by pretty quickly. The important thing is that you showed up and you're gonna try your best to make it to the end. And you are gonna make it to the end because I'm here doing this with you. Down, pulse, lift and squeeze. Another five, four, three, last two. On one, come down, holding up, pulse for five, four, last three, two, one, and bring that weight in front. We're gonna go into our hammer presses, still working in the triceps. So those palms are facing in, we're gonna bring them up to the shoulders. We're gonna start on that left side, pressing up with the palm facing in, in two, in one. Let's get started. Left side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. If you're using heavier weights, four, three, you're gonna slow it down. Two, one to the right, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, beginners, no weights if you need to. Four, three, two, one, left again. 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, to the right. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now both, the last four, last three, last two, Last one, and lower those weights down. So hopefully that, that uh, woke your arms up pretty well. I think we're like gunning to go. We're going into our first cardio circuit. Bring me that energy. Beginners, no weights here, and you can walk it instead of jumping. My intermediate advanced, lightest weights you have, okay? Hands are coming down right below the shoulder. Come into a plank. You're gonna hold here, and in three, in two, in one, we jump, we stand, we hammer press, come down. It's in, up, press, lower. Let's go. A little bit faster. Speed it up for me. Beginners, walking it out, walking it up. No weights, press. 20 seconds. I want you to get everything that you can. Give me everything you've got for your three minutes of cardio. We want that heart rate up. We're gonna bring it back down as we get into our next body weight circuit. But for right now, let's sweat. Let's get sweaty together. Five, four, three, two, last press into that plank and lower down. All right, coming back into that plank. Beginners, you're gonna stay right here on your knees. You're gonna have a weight in both hands or no weight at all, squeeze the abs in. You're gonna tap the center of your back with that weight, controlling the motion. Intermediate, advance, come up onto those toes. We tap that weight back, we lower the weight back down. Tap the weight back, lower the weight back down. It's not easy. And we're gonna keep your upper body stable. The upper body is not twisting. The only thing moving here are your arms. Tapping the center of the back and controlling that motion back down. Tap and lower, tap and lower. You can take this at your own pace. It's still that cardio, we're still up in that plank. Another five, and lower, another four. Ooh, this is tough. Another three, and two, and one. Just hold for three, for two, for one. Lower it down, going into our forward punches and our punches overhead. Coming into kneeling or standing if you prefer. You want your weights to come to the chest. We punch forward for four and up for four. Going in three, in two, in one. Beginners, no weights. Forward, three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and forward. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, give it meaning. And up. And forward. And up. Now forward, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, again. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, again. 10, nine, have fun with it. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. 
five, four, three, two, one, to the side, to the side, to the side, for four, for three, for two, and one, lower it down. Great job, everybody. We're gonna put those weights over to the side, going into our next body weight section. We're going into the shoulders. And actually, this is kind of working your entire upper body. It definitely is. I want your hand right below the shoulder. We're on the knee for this. You bring that leg out long. Now lift your arm up overhead. Hold right here. In five, lift those obliques up. Four, three, two on one. Lift that leg up. We toe tap in front. We bring it back out. We toe tap in front and bring it back out. If you need to, beginners, tap the knee back down. Tap the knee back down. I don't care what version of it you do. Even if you're wobbling around, you feel like it looks crazy, you're sweating like crazy, that's okay. The next step is after you hit that first step. Every single progression that you make is gonna make a difference. Every rep that you make is gonna make a difference. Last five, four, three, two, last one. Come on, bring it forward, extend, and lower. We're gonna go over to that other side. We're gonna take a break in between, actually. So we're gonna come onto our tummy. It's not quite a break, but we're gonna do a different exercise first. Hands right below the armpits. Squeeze the elbows in towards the body. We lift up into a cobra pose, and we lift it back down. Beginners, you might be about halfway right here. It's okay. Otherwise, we're gonna be lifting all the way up, lifting the quads up off the ground. The back does not hurt here. You're lifting up, keeping the back straight. Keep going, lift. And lower, don't mind me, I had to fix my mic. Lift and lower, elbows tucked in towards that waist. Another six, and lower. Another five, and lower, you're doing amazing. Four, and lower. Three, last two. Last one, slowly lower for three, for two, for one, and we're going over to our other side. I know, I get really excited about side planks. I think you guys know this by now. <laughs> they are my favorite. There's so many different versions of it and so many things you could do. So that hand comes right below the shoulder. If your wrist starts to hurt, by the way, you can ball it up into a fist, whatever's more comfortable. Take that top leg out long, hand overhead. We hold right here. Just think about squeezing those obliques in for the next three, next two. On one, lift that leg up. We tap forward and extend. Tap forward and extend. Keep yourself nice and high, pressing through that palm. Hips are in alignment. We go into our next weighted exercises right after this, which actually, the next section is my favorite section. You'll see why, it's fun. Squeeze forward, bring it back, work hard. Keep yourself lifted, five. Another four. Three. Last two. Last one and lower it down. All right, amazing, amazing, amazing. We are grabbing a hold of our lightest weights once again. Beginners, you, you don't have to use any weights. I still want you to do the motion, give it meaning, have fun with it, give me a smile. We're gonna roll those shoulders back and down, hands in front, palms are down. We lift to the side and to the front and lower. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Staying with the side, facing straight ahead, not really bringing those weights all the way down, okay? I want you to keep a little bit of lift. We squeeze those shoulders back and down, so roll those down, reset yourself when you need to. Facing ahead and feeling powerful, feeling strong. You've got this. You're already halfway through our workout. Lift and lower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Now hold for last five. Hold four, hold three, two, one, and lower it down. Over to the other side, and then we've got, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the third exercise. <laughs> Let's get through this one first though. It's a surprise, we haven't done it yet. So shoulders back and down, palms are facing in, right arm to the side, left arm to the front, in two and one, we lift, lower, three, four. Lift, lower, three, four, keep going. Only the shoulder level, I don't want you up here, okay? We're right here, two, three, four, and lift, two, three, four, you're strong. You've got this, you're so powerful, no matter where you are right now, I want you to appreciate where you are right now because in a few months time, if you keep going, you stay with me, you keep doing the workouts, you keep doing the exercises, you are gonna see that difference, you're gonna look back on where you were now and go, hey, I am so glad I showed up that day and that I kept showing up because now, I get to say, 
I used to do this and really struggle, and now it's super easy. Okay, it's not always easy, but you get what I'm saying. In two, in one, do that five second hold for me. I almost forgot it. Four, three, two, one, and lower. I'm thinking about the next exercise, so I'm just so excited for it. All right, so we bring those hands to center. The palms are facing in. Left arm up, right arm out. Then we switch. In two, in one, let's go. It's up to the side and in. It's up to the side and in. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Once you've got it, I'm gonna give you two more reps. We're gonna speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. There we go, yes. Feel the burn, enjoy it, get excited with me, sweat with me, burn with me. I am telling you right now, my basement must be at least 90 degrees. It's also five in the morning, so you can imagine what I'm trying to push through right now. But we're gonna do it together for 10, nine, eight, seven, oh, that burn, five, four, three, two, one, now punch forward, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We gotta finish that timer out, ladies. All right, we're gonna grab a hold of, if you want, you can use your medium weights. You can stick with those later weights, whatever you're more comfortable with. We're gonna go into a backwards lunge with an arm raise. So we come backwards as we lift that arm up at a 45 degree towards the front. Starting with the weaker side that you have. By weaker side, by the way, I actually told my husband the other day, he asked me to walk him through a workout. And I was like, start with your weaker side. He's like, I don't know which is my weaker side. It took me two minutes to figure out that he wobbled more on the right. So <laughs> whichever side that you wobble more on and you feel like a weeble wobble on, that's your weaker side. And I would start there because you want to start building those muscles. Come back and lift and squeeze. This is our cardio, okay? It's not a super intense, high intensity cardio, but you're gonna feel your heart rate come up. Knee stays behind the toe. Chest stays lifted, back stays straight. Last three, two, one, and lower it down. Going over to our other side. <laughs> this time your stronger side, all right? 45 seconds there. One more exercise for cardio, and then we are into our last three runs. See how quickly this is going by? In three, in two, in one. We step it back, we raise that weight. Amazing, everybody. I'm so proud of you for making it this far. I know this isn't easy. I want you to focus on that balance here. Trying to speed it up just a little bit if you can. If you're using heavier weights, you're gonna go a little slower. If you've got those lighter weights, you're definitely gonna be going a little bit quicker. Come back and lift and lower. Back and raise and lower. 20 more seconds. Not even. Can you get five more? Can you get four more? Heck yeah, you can. Three more. Two more. Last one. One more if you can. And lower. Oh my gosh, my arms, you guys. They are really, really burning. All right, we're gonna grab a hold of our lighter weights. Again, if you wanna stick with those medium, you can. We come to a squat position. Arm, hands are at center towards the chest. We come down, up, punch to the right. Down, up, punch to the left. I don't care if you use no weights. I don't care if you use light, if you use heavier. It doesn't matter to me. As long as you keep moving, keep working. Keep working towards those goals. You wanna make progress. You wanna have that consistent, active lifestyle because in the end, we've only got this one body to live in, right? So we better treat it right. So that later down the line, we're not falling down our stairs. <laughs> We want to be strong. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We're back on the mat after this. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last squat and lift it up. How are we feeling? We are going into our back and chest section, into our single leg push ups. So the hands come slightly in front. We relax the right foot. The left leg comes up high. Now from here, we lower down and we lift. Arms coming out, forming an A shape, like the letter A. We don't want to look like I's. We want to look like A's. Come down, squeeze us. Working into the front chest muscles, working into the back muscles, the shoulders. This is covering quite a bit of your upper body here. Take your time. Down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up. Back, stay straight. Push that leg out even further. Straighten it out even more. Last three. 
Last two. On one, come down as little as you can. Hold for five, four, hold three, two, one. Lift it up, going over to the other side. If you want, come into a quick child's pose. Stretch those arms out. You have 10 seconds until we go to the other side. This time, relaxing the left foot down. The right leg comes back and out in two, in one. Abs tight, hips both facing down towards the mat. Down, forming that A shape, and up. Down, and up. Great job. So like I was saying earlier, I did bring my, my husband is really stubborn with exercise, okay? So he asked me if I could teach him how to work hamstrings and thighs, because he does a lot of the machinery at the gym. He doesn't know the kind of exercises that you and I know. So I went and I showed him, oh my gosh, were his legs shaking for about three hours after our workout. He kept saying how much his side booty, his, his thighs, his legs were burning. And I gotta tell you, don't tell him this, you are all so much stronger than he is. Another three, two, on one come down, now hold for three, for two, for one, lift it up. All right, last body weight exercise for this round. We come down onto the mat. We bring the arms in front. I want you to squeeze the thighs and the feet together. You're facing down towards your mat. Hands come to, the, come to the center. We squeeze the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades, and forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Trying to lift the chest up. If you can, we also lift the feet. Working into the back muscles, working into the shoulder blades. Squeeze back and forward. Now we speed it up. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, last five, last three, last two, on one, I want you to squeeze it together, hold, hold, squeeze for four, three, two, one, and lower it down. Grabbing a hold of your lightest weights once again, we're coming back into our side plank section. I know you don't love hearing that, but I absolutely love doing them. They just work everything so great. So we come onto the forearm. Beginners, you can stay on the knee. We sweep back and we lift. Otherwise, stagger or stack. Sweeping back, lifting up nice and high. Both hips are in alignment. Straight line, hip bone to hip bone. Rotating as far back as you can. Twisting those oblique muscles. Working those arm muscles. All the way back, all the way up. In three. In two, in one, I want you to hold from here. We bring that knee up, extend out. Knee in and out for five. For four, I know it's tough. For three, last two, last one, and lower yourself down. Oh, going over to our other side. I always laugh on those. I'm like, I can't believe we just did that. Whew. In three, in two, in one. Let's come up into that plank. Beginners on the knee. Stagger or stack. Lift that arm up. We sweep through those first 20 seconds. And then we finish off with those knee crunches. And that raise over. Squeeze. Come on. Another five. Another four. Really twist it. Three. Two, hips in alignment. One, lift it up, bring the arm over, we crunch in and extend for five. Four, come on, you gotta be even. Three, two, one. One more crunch in, arm up and lower down. Have a moment, give about 10 seconds. We only have two more rounds after this, by the way. Grabbing a hold of your lightest weights, beginners, no weights, please. Coming onto your tummy. Now from here, squeeze the feet together, squeeze the thighs. The arms come all the way back, palms are facing up. Facing down at your mat, and we're gonna pump up. Squeezing the shoulder blades, squeezing the back muscles. 10, nine, higher, eight, seven, great job. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, now lift the feet up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, palms in. 
pulse, 10, 9, squeeze, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, squeeze those arms, squeeze it, bring them higher, 3, 2, 1, lower it down, have a breath, we are not done yet, we've only got two more rounds left, we're going to finish this strong, you kind of get a break through this one, we're coming into a downward dog, hands are right below the shoulder, coming up onto the toes for me, we lift those hips up nice and high, we lower it down, and we slow climb for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now lift, lower, we seat it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, again, and lower, this time across, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, again, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, to the center, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift, 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 feel that stretch, come down, finish it out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come on down, I'm going to grab a quick sip of water, you're going to hate me, we're going back in that position, I promised you an arm burn, I promised you sweat, <laughs> we're going to sweat, so we come up onto that plank position, this time it's out, in, out, in, opposite knee tap, opposite knee tap, one, two, three, four, tap, and tap, one, two, three, four, five, and six, booty low, abs tight, upper body stable, controlling that balance, working for that cardio. Now I brought it down a notch for these two cardio moves, because our last one is the real burner. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now finish off with plank jacks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold and lower it down. Okay, our final 45 seconds of fat burning cardio, elevated heart rate. Let's just die in here right now from sweat. Our burpees. We come down to the floor, beginners. You can walk these in two. In one, let's go. Down, up, jump. If you can jump, I want you jumping. I want you going as fast as you can. Squeeze those abs and tight. All the way down to your mat. Beginners, walk, 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 up. Squeeze the glutes, let's go. Keep going. 20 seconds. Should be getting six or seven more in here. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Now squat jump. Five, four, three, two, one. Onto your mat. Our abs and arms finisher. I don't know how the hell I'm still talking right now. It is so brutal hot in here. All right, grab a hold of your lightest weight. That is not my lightest weight. I'm using my lightest weight. Legs in front, lift the arms forward. We kick and pass that weight through. Squeeze those abs in. Beginners, you're right here. Tap the ankle, tap the ankle. Lean back, lean back, let's go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 25 seconds, breathe it out. I want you to keep that heart rate up for the last three minutes. How are we feeling? Do you feel this one? I really, really hope so. It is so hot down here, everybody. 10, nine, eight, seven, but we're finishing this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beginners, you're coming down to your back. Hands are coming forward. You're gonna lift, try to tap those knees. Otherwise, I want the legs straightened out. Grabbing a hold of our lightest weight. It comes behind the head, elbows wide. We do a full sit up with that weight. Squeeze up and slowly lower. It's really tough. So this is the most advanced version of it. Light weight, okay? Intermediate, you're gonna be right by the forehead. And then beginner, you're right here. Try to tap those knees. Try to tap those knees. Doesn't matter what level you're at. I could not do these when I first started. Absolutely not. No way, no how. And I wouldn't have expected to. I don't expect you to. All I want is for you to get your journey started, okay? That's how it begins. 
Another five. And four. We're gonna finish it. Three. Two, ignore that timer. Last one up. One. Now bring that weight in front. I want you to hold it right here. Work those arms a little bit more. And twist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep those arms long. Russian twist left. Russian twist right. It's left, right, left, right. Now lift the legs up. Now straighten them. Great job, amazing. Woo. Now as we come to the left, I want you to circle around. As we come to the right, I want you to circle around the head. Woo. That burns. That is really tough. This is our burnout, right? Let's make it work. Let's work those obliques. Let's work those arms. I want to keep on going to the very, very end. You've only got 15 more seconds. Can you give me another four? Another three. Legs down if you need to. Last two. Last one. Hold it long for three, two, one. And lower. All right, everybody. I think I think my arms have had enough after that. <laughs> How's everybody feeling? How are we all doing? So this was, what, day four of the Bring Your Own Bikini Body June. We've got our new guide coming up. So I definitely want you to keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out on the bands. They should be, where are my bands? They should be available, I think it's mid-June. So they might be by the time you see this video. We'll see. Anyway, let's stretch our arms out just a little bit. I just want you to take that arm overhead and hold on to the elbow. Squeeze there. Oh man, I can't even tell you how hot and disgusting it is down here. <laughs> this is a tough, tough morning. And wave those arms out, other side. Oh, be sure to grab your new calendar. I'll be telling you more about it as we get to the close of this video, but your new calendar will be in the links below. So you just grab a hold of that. And uh, I will see you for the next one. So thanks everybody for joining me. I will see you guys later. Have a beautiful day. I really need to go shower. <laughs> I feel so hot and sticky right now. Fabulous job today, everyone. As always, I am so proud of you. Now let me know in the comments below, how did you like the format today? What was your favorite exercise? And do your arms burn really bad? Now get ready for next week because we are starting a brand new series and a brand new calendar. This is Wednesday, July 7th, our Fit Body Boot Camp for July. Now you can find this calendar in the link in the description. You're just gonna open up that calendar and once you get into it, you'll see little YouTube icons. Those are clickable links to each day's workout. And then I'll actually be changing up our schedule a little bit. I'm now gonna be posting our new videos here on the channel still on Wednesday, but at 5 a.m. EST so that you can access them sooner. So smash that thumbs up button for me, grab your calendar, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you for next week's burn. We are gonna kickstart this guide off with an abs and waist shred. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me and have a beautiful day.